Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly show you all how to wash your mask in case you haven't done it before, you're not super confident. Um, you can see on my mask bib, there's a little bit of dirt. As you can see, it's kind of got a little bit of blacky brown just at the bib there from where my hands touched it lots of times. Uh, it's the same on the back of the strap and uh, inside where it's been touching my head, as well as on the inside, you can see the slightly darker areas are where there's um, bits of like oil from my skin because just because we wear the mask so often and that sort of stuff. So first thing, you're going to need to fill up a sink of water. Don't use something that your mask, like the metal, can scratch. Um, just like your metal sink is all good. Um, so you just fill up your sink and yes. Cool. Once your sink's filled, just and this feels really wrong, but you just take your mask and you submerge it in the water. Um, we're going to leave it to soak for a while. Um, if your sink, I'll sh turn the camera so you can see. Um, like mine, I haven't filled it up all the way yet, so I'll just quickly soak it, but I'll put some more water in as it's going. I'm now just going to leave this here submerged to soak for a few minutes um, and then we will jump right back. So, <clears throat> so it's been a few minutes, um, I'm just going to swap it over because it's been soaking on one side, uh, swap it over so it gets soaked evenly so you're not just like, yeah, leaving one soak, one half unsoaked. Perfect, okay, so we'll soak the mask for a little bit, we are going to now um, clean it. What I recommend the most is this, uh, Wonder Soap, Oop, there's a leaf on there, um, so this is called Wonder Soap, it's really good for getting through this, and something soft, soft like a, I've got a loofah here, which works really, really well, don't use anything, you know, like one of these stiff bristle brushes, these are really bad, um, they'll damage the fabric uh, of the mask, um, so something really soft like a loofah. I'm going to use that one because it's slightly newer. Okay so first thing I'm just going to get the loofah a little bit wet and you can put a little bit of soap onto it so sort of get it to um and this isn't normal soap either this is the wonder soap block uh, and so it sort of gets a bit soapy and then I'm going to come onto the mask bib start on the outside and gently and it's real gently um try and uh remove the dirt just scrub and you can see we get quite a big layer of um uh, foam from the soap. Work your way around as it gets clean, you just sort of gently, slowly work around the mask. Okay, so I've um, I've basically gone around the whole outside of the mask bib and I'll rinse out the soap and you can see it's starting to get quite a lot better. It's still there's areas where it's a lot still quite dirty. Um, so for this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the soap directly and apply it straight to the mask on these areas. Um, and then I'm gonna uh, use the, the, the loop again a little bit more um, Still quite gentle, but a little bit more aggressively to try and get some of this grime out. Again, this slightly dirtier here, so I'm just going to apply it straight onto the bib. Okay, that's about as good as I'm going to be able to get the um, the exterior. I'm just going to leave that for now, and as I go, there'll probably be water coming in and out of it, which will help to uh, ah, will help to clean it. Um, next thing, I'm going to take the strap off. 
um, because we are going to clean that just not right yet but we're going to get to inside of the mask I'll let some of the um, water drip down and the water in here is getting quite dirty so I might just let some of it out. Okay. <clears throat> now we're at one of the more niggly bits of the whole thing which is doing the interior of the mask. Um, I am going to put the mask next to the uh, sink just for now. And get the loofah nice and dirty, ah, uh, not dirty, get the loofah nice and, um, soapy. Just gonna scooch this back a little bit. And all we do is the same process that we did on the outside. So coming onto the inside of the mask and using the loofah uh, or soft brush to uh, come around here. If you've got Velcro, the rough Velcro on the inside, be careful on that, um, it can damage quite easily, like if you're using one of these, it'll damage it quite easily. So now, I've gone on the outside, which will get any just like excess stuff off but a lot of the of the dirt will seep into the mask um, so you can just gently give it a little bit of like squeezing to try and help it come out a little bit the brow here is really important um, it's where your forehead contacts, so there's often quite a lot of oil and grime there too. So as I'm going around here now, I'm just gently, really gently squeezing the foam or the material really really gently to try and get the water to come in and out and um, that helps to bring out lift out any dirt that's stuck inside the mask uh, the other bit that can be quite bad is just on the chin in here these little straps in here um, so this you might want to do a little bit, just a little bit more on. So I'm just giving the, the metal, the, 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 the mesh, just a quick once over in case there's any sort of crap over there. Now this is not with soap or anything, this is just dry. Um, there's not really much that gets on it. Um, we'll never really contact it. Okay. Now I'm going to leave that there just to soak a little longer while I'm doing this bit which is the last bit and still really important which is the strap. Um, there is lots of velcro on here again so just be careful of what you're letting that velcro contact. And to do it just the same process, soap onto whatever you're using to clean it and just there. I recommend putting it on a flat surface, um, this way I can get quite a lot of um, movement on it. And this should come quite white very quick. Make sure swap it over to both sides, one side because it'll all be like internal. Uh, there won't be much to do on it. Um, it's not going to contact anything, it's got lots of layers in between it. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just gonna clean up all this mess. This is really important. <laughs> don't don't skip this out. Um, wash all the soap off of this so it's no longer slippery. Drain. So so if you've got anything still in the tub with your mask and your strap, um, rinse it out so that the the material no longer feels soapy. Um, and then so you're just trying to get all the soap out of the mask, out of the strap. Um, and then we're just gonna, and then just let the tub empty, um, because we've got to get all the soap out of the mask, otherwise your skin will hate you. Tub's drained, all of that soapy water is now gone, I'm going to fill it back up with clean, fresh water. Put your mask in while it's filling up. It's a good way to get the water coming through it. As it fills, I can just sort of move this around a little bit, get the uh, water coming in and out a little bit. And you're not trying to fill it up all the way either, just, just enough. This should be all good. You can see there's a little bit of water in there, not too much. And you're trying to use this to get all of the soap out of the inside of the material now. You're trying to wash it, soak it, get it all out. Um, again, that gentle squeezing of the fabric. I'll do this first because it's super easy. And I will chop that behind. Uh, the mask is super important. Get all of that soap out of the mask. You can usually tell because in the sink, you might start to see the water turn soapy. Again, important bits are that chin strap again um, because it's got quite a lot more fabric in it. Also those bits like on the forehead where it's going to contact your skin a lot more so you want to really make sure there's no soap in there anymore. Okie dokie, and we should be all done. Squeeze out any excess water and then hang it up to dry. You can leave it in like the shower, the inside of the shower, hanging up dripping until it stops dripping and then just Put it out to dry. Don't put it in the sun though, because the sun will perish the rubber. Um, and if you're really paranoid about the rust, like I kind of am, um, you can use a towel to dry off all the all the metal um, and try and encourage some of the water out. Don't squeeze it too tight, but just encourage it out, and you're done.